All right, listen. <clears throat> this is the type of hypocritical bullshit that pisses me off. And it makes me see how hypocritical all this shit really is. Like, listen, I'm going to give you an example here. I clicked on a song by The Locks. I used to listen to them back in the day. I even bought their album back in the day because I used to listen to that type of stuff. They have a song called Talk About It. And in this song, they're saying, you talk about guns, you talk about drugs, you know, you talk about doing all this violent shit, you talk about selling dope to the community, but you don't live it. And they're in the video basically telling people, you know, oh, you're not about it. You're not about selling drugs. You're not about shooting guns and loading guns up. And you're not about this street life and all this. And this is the message that is being taught and spread to the community and people that listen to this stuff all the time. Listen. I don't have anything against the person per se. I have something against their ideas and the things that they say because it's so hypocritical. It's okay. You're talking about, oh, you're not about it. You're not about shooting guns. You're not about selling drugs. But then what happens when someone, you know, gets shot and killed? Oh, well, that was my friend and and you know then then you're hurt because they got shot and killed but then you're talking about shooting and killing you're talking about loading a gun up you're talking about selling drugs to the community you're talking about all this violent shit and then you have the balls when something happens to someone you know or if something happens to you and someone does that to you then it's wrong do you see how hypocritical this stuff is? And it, it, that's why I don't listen to this trash. I don't listen to this bullshit because the message is, it is a dead end, violent, perishing message. And I understand that a lot of that stuff comes with life, but these guys been doing this for you know 20 some 30 years and they're still talking about the same shit they're still talking about loading guns up you're not about it so be about it that's basically what they're telling y'all oh you're not about it so be about it and this is the type of shit that we are listening to that we're filling our ears with is this garbage this is the stuff that most of you idolize. You idolize this shit and you put it on a pedestal. But when it comes knocking at your door, when it comes your way, when it happens to someone you care about or love or was in your life, oh, well, then it's wrong. And we're on CNN and we're on TV and the news and we're around our family saying, oh, it's a shame what happened to him. But yet you were preaching that same message. So basically, here's how I see it. There's a saying that says, live by the sword, die by the sword. It's kind of like a lot of these guys, it's like they want to be a martyr. It's like they want to get killed or they want to get shot or they want to get blamed for selling drugs sometimes it's like i really really wonder i really really wonder about this i really do because it's like how can you keep talking about this same message all these years later if you changed or you're not about violence or you're not about killing people that's why I don't want to hear it when something happens to someone and they're saying, oh, he was a good friend of mine and it's a shame what happened to him. I don't want to hear the shit. If you're talking about it and you're preaching about it and that's what your word is and that's the words that are coming off your tongue, then I don't feel bad for you. 
because what you speak, you live. What comes off of your tongue is what is in your mind. That's what kind of person you are. Every word that comes out of my mouth and out of your mouth and out of anyone's mouth, that is what we're thinking of. That is what we are. That is who we are. That is the things that we think about and what we think of doing. That is our motives. It's, it's like everything. So I ask, if someone from the locks, Sheik Looch, Jada Kiss, or Styles P would ever watch this video, how hypocritical is it that if someone close to you this happened, it would be a tragedy? You loved this person. How could someone do this? Why did this happen? But yet you're saying... Oh, you're not about it. You're not about drugs, selling drugs. You're not about loading pistols and loading guns with ammunition. You know, you're not about uh, being on the street corner gang banging. You're not about putting on masks to go and rob a bank like in the video. You know, I see these things and listen, it's only the ones that don't understand or don't have the awareness or the intelligence to know what I mean that will berate me and say, oh, well, it's just a song. It's just hip hop. It's just music. It's just lyrics. It's just this. No, it's not. It's not just that. It's not just that. And, and I really, I, I don't like ragging on people. I don't like ragging on things. I don't like talking about others. I don't like judging others. But when I see something that is just a completely hypocritical, violent thing that people talk about, and then when it comes to their doorstep or it comes to them or it comes to someone that is in their crew or their clique or whoever they know, then it's wrong. Then there's something wrong with it. Then we're all wondering, oh, how could this happen? Why did this happen? Come on. Look at the stuff you're saying. Look at the stuff that you are speaking out of your mouth that is going into young men and women's ears and just people in general what's going into their ears and is going into their minds and they're listening to this shit they're idolizing this shit just think about it i mean it doesn't take a genius to really know or think about this type of stuff and it's kind of like, I have to use this as the reference because I can't think of nothing else. It's kind of like the verse, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against dark, you know, principalities and powers and, you know, things like that. You know, it's not, it's not that I have a problem with the person. I have a problem with what they are speaking, what what is behind the message, what what is what they are saying. So I'll say that again. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against the principalities of in the dark places. Do you understand? It th this is a this is a mind thing. This is a I don't know if I want to say spirit. I don't I don't really want to say spirit because then people take it wrong in that sense too. It's a it's a mind thing. It's a mind thing and some people they just they don't understand this. They can't get it because see this is what our pride and our ego does. It says, oh, I'm a tough guy because I load guns up and I kill people and I do all this violent shit and I sell drugs and I get money. So I'm, I'm a tough guy. 
You know, I'm I'm higher than you because I do all that stuff. Do you see the ignorance in that? <laughs> See, this is what I mean when I say this stuff. It's not that I am judging. It's it's just like I said. I am not wrestling against the flesh and blood of people. It is against the mindset. It is against the, the things that are not seen that we are not seeing if that makes sense so anyway I don't like doing videos like this but when I watched it it was just like I clicked on it and I don't even really watch any of this newer music I clicked on it and I was like right when I seen it I just knew I'm like, there's an agenda behind this. There's a violent message. There's a message that is just, it's just shit. It's garbage. It's garbage. It would be better off in the trash. It would be better off to repent and turn away from that kind of stuff because it's all it's all it ain't gonna do nothing but get you killed it ain't gonna do nothing but turn you into this prideful kind of raging bull so to speak that's driven towards violence that's driven towards money that's driven towards gain that's driven towards power just watch the video just watch it the locks uh be about it or you're not about it or i don't even know what it's called i don't even want to know what it's called they're wearing masks in the videos and they're talking about the stuff they're talking about i just can't let it in my ears i can't let it in my life i can't let it around me and like i said i don't like doing videos like this but it is what it is no one else is gonna say nothing because everyone else is probably has the blinders over their eyes or has the spell cast over them that they can't see through this wall. They can't see through the brick wall to the other side to see what it really is. And I look at myself in this phone and I realize there's sometimes I'm a hypocrite too. I'm a hypocrite too. I even did videos about this. I'm a hypocrite too. I do hypocritical stuff, but I'm to a point where my thinking is past that stuff. It, it's like, it's like graveyard to me. It's, it's a path that I never want to take again. And I wouldn't want to see any other person take it, but a lot of people are going to take it. And, and, and look, I'm not trying to get biblical here i'm not trying to uh start quoting scripture and stuff to you but it's just like another verse broad is the way to destruction and narrow is the path that few people take now i know i didn't say the verse right and few there be narrow is the path that most people take and few there be that will take it That it's a cord. Don't you see we don't have to take that broad path? Because all that it does, broad, leads to the way of destruction. That's all it does. Broad leads to the way of destruction. And narrow is the path that not too many people are going to take. And few there be that do. But that is the path of 
understanding and, you know, logical thinking, you know? So, anyway, that's what, uh, that's what was on my mind. That's what I was led to speak. So, may all be well with all of you. SBN Resonate. Later on, y'all.